continue from verse 8 today. That's where we are going to start. Amen? Amen. Now, Revelation, it says, Apostle John says, all inhabitants, they worship the beast. Who is the beast? That's one of the questions. <clears throat> Who is the beast? All inhabitants. All inhabitants. They will worship what? The beast. Tell for never all inhabitants. All Even though Even they worship. I don't worship the beast. Because he is the beast. The beast belongs to the beast people. Because he's not my God. One thing you must understand. The beast is called by the name of animals. Hello? And the beast is called again in the name of repetals. Now imagine that. These are the all inhabitants. They are worshipping animal. <laughs> People of God, when God give you the mindset of God himself, if you don't understand that what God's creation you are, that is the time you are going to lose the way. Because I have the DNA of God. Maybe that DNA is wanted by the beast also. Because we always speak about there is enemy among us, above us. Always there's an enemy plan. After Jesus Christ, hello, 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 are you with me? Yeah. Jesus Christ came for salvation to the, this world. Right. He came to bring the joy and happiness for this world. He came to give a wisdom and knowledge for this world. But they buried him. On the third day he says, Hello. Shalom. Yeah. What was the news for those people who buried? They quickly go to those people. They say, Hey, don't tell for anyone. Tell them his disciples, they is still the body of Christ. Are you sure he's stolen? It means in the other way. Listen very carefully, people of God. In the other way. Can you imagine? They forgot Christ, but they are glorifying the disciples. They say, disciples, they still. There was an army. There was a mighty army keeping the body of Christ. Disciples' power is greater than the army of those people. Your power is greater than any army in this world. Hallelujah. If you are linked with the Christ spirit, you are the great army. You don't have a gun, but you do. Amen. Hey! Amen. You don't have a hammer, you can break. Amen. Jesus. In the other world, they are telling, they are giving a power for the disciples. They say, they are still. Where is the army men? Hello, hello. Amen. What I want to tell you in this sentence, how this world is foolish and misunderstood the power of God. Amen. That's it. It looks like powerful, powerless. Amen. Huh? When they're glorifying me, but they are displacing my God who created me, who make me to be glorified. Can you that is the enemy plan. Amen. Therefore, don't be, you know, somebody else you are when your enemy is glorifying you. When your enemy is glorifying you, it means your enemy about to destroy you. That's why I teach you not to have a friend. When you make a friend, Holy Ghost. When you make a friend, if you are married, your husband must be your friend, your children must be friend, okay? Amen. You can establish a strong family in the house. 
when your household is strong not the beast the one who's having 10 horns he can extend even 14 he can't afford you hallelujah Amen. even though you don't break it 14 horns once every day one Kush. 14 days you finish it Amen. but as the whole the Jewish people in biblical times regarded the sea as a wild as a wild mod. Friend and the place, while ancient Israel under the Solomon had a navy Haram, the king of Tyre, supplied the sorrows. When King of Solomon building the house of God and the house himself, all the material and the wooden things are deployed from the outside country to the Israel. There's a benefit in other ways and also there is the distraction in the other ways. But for everything, that's why in the beginning I said to you, you have to use the wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can use the enemy as your capital, as your money, as your infrastructure when you are filled with the wisdom of God. The Tyre, the Sidon, these countries, they are enemy with Israel. But Solomon used them as a slave. Why? Wisdom. Amen. I want to warn my children, my spiritual children, in the remaining age, in the remaining time of this, until you complete, you have to speak by wisdom. You have to walk by wisdom. Amen. You have to preach by wisdom. Amen. You have to give salvation by wisdom. Amen. You have to cast out even the demons by wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't try to show up. God. You are nothing without God. For God is my king from the old, working salvation in the midst of the heirs. You divided the sea by your strings. You broke the heads of the sea, serpent in the water. This is the speech of David. That is the other thing is the speech of Solomon. Therefore, this son and father, they are so wisdomful. Even though the son is greater than the father, sons are greater than the fathers. Now look at here. In Psalm 74, 12 after 3, 13, David says, for God is my king. You must say, God is my king wherever you are. Don't, don't shut down. Don't shut your mouth when the enemy, when the wicked try to zip your mouth saying, do not say Jesus. You have to open your mouth about Christ because that is the witness. You cannot say, I have a Christ, but you keep quiet to testify for somebody. Hallelujah. To speak out. And David is very sharp on this position. He says, for my God is my king from the old. Not only from the new, even from the old. Why? What does it mean? This, it means, as a Christian leaders, we have to recognize our fathers. We have to recognize our leaders. We have to accept our leaders. The, the, those who pay a price. Those who make a bridge for our salvation. For our economical life. For our marital life. For the things which is established in our life. We have to recognize them. Today's generation does not understand that. Today's Christianity is dead because of this. If you don't recognize me. The next generation cannot recognize you. Because the seed always speak. The seed always show you who you are. Hallelujah. Yeah. The seed is very important. The seed what you sow. Maybe you don't know. It's painful when you are sowing because it's dying. When you sow the seed, you are losing. You are taking out from your pocket or from your account or something. You, it looks like you are losing, but it's multiplied. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
That's why at the moment, as you see in the world wide, what is going on. We don't force you to take this and this. At the back, there's a power. Yeah? Huh? Don't be surprised for a moment. The time is coming. But pray. Therefore, that David says, Lord is my host. Please, wherever you are and whenever you sit, whenever you walk, whenever you're driving, you have to say, my Lord is my host. Amen. You know the word is powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. Speak out. When you speak, that powerful word covers the environment. Amen. If there's a distraction, that word is going to cover and protect the distraction. Hallelujah. Amen. David, in Pasalam 89, verse 9 up to 8, 8 up to 9, he said, Lord God of hosts, who is mightily, mighty like you. Oh Lord, your faithfulness also surrounds you, me. You roll the ringing of the sea. When it is waves rise, you will still them. You will still shut up them. Do you know always? Do you know this cold comes from the sea? Do you know that? Hello. Hallelujah. The sea. Now the Bible is concentrating on sea. Why the Bible is concentrating on sea? I will, I, will, I will reveal it to them. But the wicked are like the troubled sea. The wicked are like, like a troubled sea. Therefore we have to pray for them. Who? The wicked. That's why they do what? The wicked things. Therefore, don't be troubled by wicked trouble. Look at that. Can we go to Isaiah 57, verse 20? Isaiah also, the prophet, is speaking about another things. You know, prophetic office is the most important office. The most precious office. The most, you know, privileged office. When you are friend with the Lord. When you are not disturbing the prophetic office. When you are not manipulating that office. It's the most privileged office. The most sensitive office. The most important office. Amen. Isaiah is speaking on his time. Today is happening. Jeremiah is speaking on his time. Today is happening. Amen. Daniel is speaking on his time. Today is happening. Amen. Again, the New Testament writer, Apostle John in Revelation is speaking 2,000 years ago. Today is happening. Amen. Hello? Amen. Can you see that how privileged office is? This apostolic and prophetic. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they go to fire, the enemy, the wicked, they was thinking, we finished them. The fire is what? The place of? Hello? Yeah, the, the righteous, they want to punish the righteous way in the fire. But who was eaten by that fire? The wicked, because the place of fire is not mine. Amen. Hell is not yours. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The things what they are preparing for you is it's in the other sense, in the spiritual language. It is the place of them. It's not but the place of yours. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what you have to know. That's why the Bible gives us the mandate and the evidence. What about the apostles? What about the prophet in the past? What happened to them? How it happened to them? How they are survived? Amen. Thank you, Lord. The lions keep quiet. Why? They know who Daniel is. Amen. The command post was declared. When Daniel is stepped into the lion's den, the command post says, this is my general. Amen. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego step into the fire, Jesus Christ is step in the also there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But you must understand this doesn't mean it's not a fire. It was. It's not a fake fire. It was original fire. But the original God was with them. 
Remove the fake life from your life now. Today. It is not too late. Verse 9. Whoever has ears. Ask your neighbor, do you have ears? Do you have ears? <laughs> How many ears do you have? If God didn't create four for others, two for others. He created equally two for wicked and for righteous also. Please loudly, loudly, loudly read it. Loudly. Let them hear. Continue. If anyone is to go into captivity, into captivity they will go. If anyone is to be killed with a sword, he must be killed. By what? By choosing Christ. Amen. Hello? Amen. Verse 8, don't forget, he says, Anyone who have got what? Yes. What? Yes. He didn't say eyes. He didn't say legs. Because it's not a legs time. It's not eyes time. This time is a time of what? Ears. Yes. <laughs> the ears time. Now the ears are big people. The ears are big spare part of our women. This time. Not the eyes. Not the mouse. Tell, tell for whatever. Not the mouse. The ears, ears. Have you ever seen ears? I speaking. It's the time of listening. It's not the time of speaking. Yeah? Not a time of. If a wise must listen. The heart is inside. Verse 11 is speaking something. Then I saw a second beast coming. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. John again. He saw the first and we speak about everything. Now again he saw another beast. It means this beast is too many, not one. So are you listening? The beast are not one. Not two. But our God is one. Amen. Not two, not three, not four. Amen. I, I believe you understand what I'm talking about. Amen. And John saw the beast. Is here. Quickly, let's go to Daniel chapter 7 verse 7. After that, this is Daniel's time. Don't forget, Daniel is not on the time of John. Hello, church. Amen. Daniel's time is another. It's the Old Testament. Daniel was where? On the old era. On the old time. Amen. He saw the beast. Amen. Let's hear. After that, in my vision at night, I looked. And there before me was a fourth And in each and every century, God has his own people. Amen. To see and to control what? Beast. Amen. Jesus. On Daniel's start, Daniel is seeing what? The beast. In his what? In his vision. Not physical. Amen. On the time of John also, John had a vision. He saw what? A beast. A bear also sees a beast on his vision also. Amen. That's what I'm teaching you. That's what I'm telling you from 2016. Amen. And the great thing is the beast does not have a secret to hide himself. Amen. He's already what? Seen. Somebody says he's already seen. Super. Amen. You try to hide yourself, but somebody's seeing you. Amen. You 
try to camouflage yourself, somebody is smiling because he knows you who you are. Amen. On a time of Moses, Moses was watching. On a time of Jeremiah, Jeremiah was watching. I can bring you the scripture from Jeremiah. On the time of Isaiah, I brought you the scripture. He was watching them. On the time of also, John. John is seeing the beast. Which one? The second beast. Terrifying and frightening and very powerful. But... <laughs> Watch this, watch this. It's very powerful, but it's terrified. Why? The things what he's doing is not legal. It makes him what? Terrified. But he is what? Powerful. Why? All inhabitants are glorifying him. But that glory does not help him because he knew he's a liar. Yeah. He knew he is not a creator. Yeah. Where is the first one? We don't know. We don't know. But it's the same company. In the other world, what does it mean? This camouflaging himself. It's the same beast. Don't forget. He looks like the second beast. Yes, it is. There's no new Satan ever. Amen. Tell for neighbor, there's no new Satan. Christ came as a God, okay? Christ came as a Messiah. Christ came as a king, as a Lord, as a son of God. But he didn't come of like himself. Amen. He, didn't, he didn't say, I'm God. He says, I'm a son of God. Amen. 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 But the devil, he looks like another beast. Why he looks like another beast? In the first beast, he didn't win. He didn't win. He lost the battle. Amen, Amen church. Amen. In the Old Testament, the devil lost all the battles through Daniel, through Sam. The mighty apostles. Hallelujah. Yeah. On the time of Isaiah, Isaiah defeat. Look at them. Moses, he is about to lose, not to enter to the promised land. But God says, give, give, quickly, give the hand for the Joshua. What does it mean? God raised the new generation. Because Moses was tired by weak people. They are not supportive. Because they were dragging him. Dragging him, Moses, by not listening. But God says, give the authority for Joshua. And you, welcome for the holiday. If I'm not in discouraged by you, there's an encouraging God in heaven. Hallelujah. Yeah. If I don't encourage you, there's a heavenly God who will encourage you. Because for what you have done it. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's what you have to see. But if you see the kingdom of beast, he tried to camouflage himself. Because you always live by law. Law is do this. If you don't do that, beast. Do that. If you don't do this, we will do this. The spirit of beast. What he's going to do, what he looks like. Well, let's continue. It had two homes like a lamb. Okay like a lamp now he is a goat now he wants to look like a lamp Be <laughs> are you with me yes. people rejected because of before what he looks like god now he changed before how many holds 10 now he looks like what two i don't know where he left eight of them Hello? Yeah. In the first round, we have seen it. Ten horns. Now the Bible says, it becomes with the two horns. Two looks like what? 
a lamp. But the Bible says, but uh, not a God. Amen. Can you read it, the Bible? It's not me. It had two horns like a lamp, but it spoke like a dragon. Ah. Who is seeing this? John. John. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's interesting. It exercised all the authority of the first beast on its behalf. The wise must listen here now. It exercised all the authorities. To do what? To say, I am a lamp, I'm not a god. But you are saying he's not a lamp. But he's telling you, I am a lamp. is worshiping what? The first beast. And it looks like nobody remain. No one remain. Why? There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a nice preaching. There's a hot preaching. The second beast, he went to force and exercise all what? Authorities. To do what? To say, I am not a god. I am a sheep. It means we don't have eyes. And they, the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast whose fatal wound had been healed. Verse 18. And it performed great signs, even causing fire to come down from heaven to the earth in it called the fire from heaven that we didn't arrive there on, on part 3 to let you know as I let you know from 2016 uh, to let you know what's the next yeah I will speak about that Hey, you never see the again, the rebel sick, and you know me so. A young lady, the name of sea. I did Lolobo sing, the rebel say, Yelaki a lot of a leader. I can say, Lolobo shed. Aje na mukuru bushinda le basi ale, roga sendo aje na mukuria. Ila ko ele kese. Ali Oh, 
Anjinare bega sino, eyi la dega sinare bose. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hey, hallelujah. Hey, 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 
Listen here, the Lord says, this morning again, the Lord says, I will build up, I will build you up. Tell for your neighbor, God will build you up. The Lord says, I will build you up again. And you will be rebuilt, O virgin Israel. Again, you will take up your tambourines and go out, dance with the joyful. Again, you will plant vineyards on the hills of Samaria. The farmers will be plant them and enjoy their fruit. There will be a day when the watchmen cry out on the hills of Ephraim. The watchman, when he cried, watchman means a man of God, a prophet. Watchman is a man of prayer. There will be a day when the watchmen cry out on the hills of Ephraim. Come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord for our God. This is what the Lord says. Sing with the joy for Jacob. Shout for the foremost of the nations. Make your praises heard and say, O oh Lord, save your people.